you know, Taurus, it's not so much you that or the person that's kind of uh, preventing this connection from moving forward. It's outsiders. It's, it's those looking in on this. So let's start your reading and I'm going to explain to you exactly what's going on. Hello Taurus, welcome to my channel, welcome back to uh, my channel for some of you guys, some of you guys are doing well. So this is your general love reading for March. We're going to take a look and see who's showing up in your reading, see what they're thinking and feeling regarding yourself and of course vice versa as well. Feel free to jump ahead to the start of the reading guys, it is timestamp. That should be in the description bar below. It should say start of reading. So just click on that and it'll bring you to the uh, start of the read. This section is really for those that just kind of prefer to uh, see me shuffle on. As I always say, you know, just please just take what resonates and uh, leave what doesn't. And if this isn't your story, but it'll pick up on your story, stick around as there sometimes could be, you know, messages throughout that jump out and speak to you. And of course, use this as a guide to support you and move you in the direction of where you're wanting to go, because ultimately we, we create our own reality. So give me a moment to just uh, finish laying these cards and to take them in. And then of course, I'll be there. <laughs> All right, let me just take this in. Oh, yeah. So Taurus, let's start your reading. And of course, take whatever side resonates with you guys and picking up as this being your side, personally you're dealing with over here, but you can always flip switch whatever side just kind of resonates the most. All right. So just look at in the past. It seems like you guys had to maybe battle um, against others i get this sense that there was maybe a lot of criticism or um, outside opinions um, i feel like maybe for you it's someone close or people that are close to you that have a lot of um, to say about this connection to say about this relationship and you're kind of not happy about that put i don't want you kind of put i don't want to use the word pushing against it but you know it's like maybe these people were close to you or you thought they had well you thought speak you thought they was in support of maybe your decisions but there's judgment that you have towards these people or selected people or even someone um it doesn't sway you from the fact that there's some form of level of belief that you still want to proceed with this with this connection it's like it's not going to sway me i'm not you know swayed away from this and it's pretty much the same on their end as well you know they're feeling like they there was this defending defending this relationship defending their actions defending the peanut gallery, ultimately, uh, outside opinion could be the same people that, you know, I spoke about when it comes to your side, but definitely this defending, um, this person wanted to offer you love or kind of is in love with you, let's say that. So there feels like, again, we're looking at the past, there's some form of battle or challenge uh, that you both had to overcome in order to get to, to this point here, which is, you know, very much embracing we've got the Ace of Cups. So it talks about love, offering of love, the opportunity for love. I feel like you both have connected in that space already. The, the, the main thing that I'm picking up for this spread is just the challenges in being able to move this forward, this outside. I feel like more so it's to do with you. Maybe you're in something or you have to come away from something or move away from something. You made a decision to do so move away from someone, someone that wasn't, maybe this is someone that you thought, you know, you needed to move away from for a while. It's like, I need to end this relationship, break this relationship, but you just kind of got lazy in that. And then along came this person and that kind of inspired you to start moving away from this person where now this person is, there's some challenges around them easily letting you go or easily allowing you to progress with this person. This person is very much drawn to you. You're, you're connected to this person. Again, it's not about questioning the type of connection that you both have. It's more about the outsiders, people that are looking in on this, someone or others that are being affected by this. 
And that's your challenge, really. And you're like, I don't, I don't want to deal with it. I don't want to have to deal with this. I really get a strong sense, though, Taurus, that this is someone that you might have knew you needed to, and I'm going to repeat myself when it comes to this, someone that you knew you needed to end this relationship. You needed to, it's like maybe a while ago, a year ago, six months ago, however long ago. It's like, this is someone I wanted to or know I need to end, but I just got lazy. Long came this person, and now it's like I'm off, and this person's like, uh-uh. You know, you're not so easily or not so quickly. And you're like, I don't want to deal with this. You know, I've got this new path that I want to move down and I don't want to have to deal with this. I will say this to Taurus is that you might have to slow down a bit because there is certain things just based on what's coming up. I feel like this person, not sure whether you're married or this is a, a marriage or just maybe certain ties that you had, maybe kids together. Maybe there's a financial setup which is causing you both to still remain in some form of communication. And if not, you know, all of the above or not, this person that you're dealing with is not going to let this, you know, not let you slip away so easily. Um, and yeah, and, and, and it's causing them to, that's the biggest spanner because it's having an effect on this person's actions as well. It's slowing them down and able to, you know, but uh, why am I, it's like I can't get the words out today. I'm not sure what's going on. It's like, it's, it's coming so fast. I can't get it out quick enough. Yeah, it's, um, I do apologize. It's slowing them down as well. It's, you know, putting a span of works in the actions that they want to take. You know, they're just wanting to embark and embrace this new chapter, this journey, this adventure that they see themselves in with you, you know, advance this move things along and so do you so do you but you know deep down that and there we got the high priestess card this intuition is kicking in i know deep down that it's not going to be so simple you know it's like you it's like you're not sure what this other person is going to do however you're sure they're going to do if that makes sense it's like i need to be strong when it comes to this i will say this though <clears throat> when i do apologize I will say this, though, and I did mention this earlier. This person, you're right, there, there is, you know, you know this person to a degree, and you know that they're not going to just let this go. I mean, we look at the depiction in this card. You know, this is you and this person, and you got someone else looking on the outside, just kind of, uh-uh, you know, not so fast. So I'm not sure to what degree or what extent this person is going to go to in order for them to slow this relationship down or try to, you know, pull you back into to this. So that's that's that that's the question mark around that. Um I wanna go back to you not wanting to deal with this. Yeah. Yeah, I get it. I get it. It's like it's I was finished with this relationship a long time ago. I, I know what I want and it's not this. However, you have to still <laughs> Oh God, you still have to take into consideration, Taurus, that this person wasn't in that space that you've been in for the last six months, 12 months, a year, two years, however long it's been. They are now faced with the reality of possibly leaving this or having this relationship, you know, end where you've kind of prepared your mind and emotionally um, for a while, for a while. So hopefully this is giving you some form of clarity. I will be implemented. I don't know. I keep saying this, guys, but I, you know, it's just a matter of time. It's really trying to get this last few details of my website together. Then I will be implementing the extended versions of these readings. Um, and that way we can dive into exactly, you know, what this person, you know, is capable of doing, what the next step is, that type of thing, how it's going to have an impact on this relationship, et cetera, et cetera. But as it stands, hopefully this has given you some form of clarity. For those of you who don't know, I do weekly singles and love readings. If that's something that interests you, as they say, subscribe to my YouTube channel. Other than that, guys, have a beautiful, beautiful day. And I shall see you next. <laughs>